Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I wanted to come out and show you all the cool Christmas and holiday offerings for this year. I know we've got the Merry Menagerie back, and those were so cute, the little animal puppets in Discovery Island. And then also the Christmas tree is up. They're playing some like Animal Kingdom Christmas style music, and we're gonna ride some rides and eat some food. Anywho's, let's go do this. The first thing we see before we actually even make it in the park is the Animal Kingdom Christmas tree. And I just realized that this Christmas tree is the only Christmas tree that has tons of Disney characters in it. Like all the other trees really don't have many Disney characters, but this one has a lot. I really never realized that. I mean, I know Epcot has a lot of World Showcase and Magic Kingdom is very Christmas oriented with like toy soldiers and stuff like that. But this has actual like Disney characters like Winnie the Pooh, Chip and Dale, Mickey Mouse, and no other trees have that. I love all the ornaments. And as you can see, there's a little hidden Mickey on the tree right there. We've got Stitch inside the train. We've got Tigger, we've got Piglet. These are some of the uh, animals from Animal Kingdom or from Lion King. We've got Jiminy Cricket right there. See, like they have so many Disney characters and like it's just kind of shocking that out of all the trees, this tree would have the most Disney character influence. You got Chip and Dale and the snow globe right there. It's very cool. I like this tree a lot. As I said in the beginning of the video, the Merry Menagerie is back and they swapped out the photo opportunity with the Merry Menagerie like photo op. And I really love it. I love the little puppets. They are so cute and they're actually sporadically out like throughout the day and you never know who's going to be out like which one. I think there's like 10 of them, but I'm not too sure, but we'll see who we actually stumble upon today. Right here is the photo opportunity. You see we got the little fox there and this snowflake is kind of like Animal Kingdom's uh, like holiday like symbol. I see it all over the posters and the decorations and it's just a bunch of animals in there that are basically making up a snowflake. Great Scott, I just realized I didn't bring a magic band. I feel like I'm missing like a major, major part of my day. I'm gonna have to pull out the uh, annual pass holder card in my wallet to actually get in the park. Kind of like, I was like, wait a second. We've got some nice Animal Kingdom garland right here. And can you hear the Christmas music? It is really awesome. I really like it. I'm not too sure if they have any holiday treats or snack offerings. I know in the past they used to have like Thanksgiving dinner down at Saltuli Canteen or they had a couple actually of turkey dinners throughout the park like one in Tiffin's too and the cupcakes that they have out now are autumn cupcakes and they're actually pretty like they're nice. I, I haven't had one yet so if we don't find any holiday treats maybe I'll try that or I'll try the spaghetti and meatballs cupcake because that's one that I haven't tried yet and honestly it sounds a little fascinating a spaghetti and meatball cupcake but there she is the tree of life and I can see some of the uh, puppets actually out right now they're actually flying around I don't know if you can see it we'll get a closer look in a second oh wait they're coming to us that's awesome there they are oh <laughs> look at that <laughs> <laughs> Got a good bird's eye view there. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the fox. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest? <laughs> oh, he's got a little friend. Hi, Fred. How are you doing? Hi, little friend. It's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, can I pet? Oh, please. Yeah, it's like a little, like, oh, oh yeah, it's like petting you. my dog. Yeah, it is. Like, oh. She's a lot like a dog, isn't she? Oh, she is. Are that is bark? amazing. No bark. No bark. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. So nice to meet you today. Yeah, so nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, boy. And we got a bear coming up over here. <laughs> I like how they're just walking around playing music, too. It's live music. That is really awesome. We got the big bear, and then we got the little bear over here. Look at that. Oh, look at that smile. I love it. These are so adorable. <laughs> Hi, <a> friend. <laughs> 
Twinkle. Twinkle? That is awesome. Twinkle's my new best friend. That is amazing. <laughs> Aren't those the cutest things ever? I love it so much and they actually come and go so some other animals will come out and I'm sure we'll be seeing some other ones because we're going to loop back here but I love it. It is so cute and I look forward to it every year now at Animal Kingdom. I hope it stays forever. You can see a lot more decorations up here and here are some of the Merry Menagerie characters actually and these have been up for a while though. I, I just like the kind of classic look that Animal Kingdom does with the Christmas decorations. They got the bear, they've got the penguin. I didn't see the penguin come out yet and he was one of my favorites because I like how he runs across the floors and it says I am a puppet and they're $29.99. That is so awesome isn't it? They are so cute and they also have like a nice little Animal Kingdom tumbler and also they have some ears. Now I don't know if these ears have anything to do with the Merry Menagerie but they look like they do. They're very soft. $29.99. I think they are. I mean the color scheming actually matches so I think these are Merry Menagerie ears. Also, it's the first time I'm seeing these too. It's like uh, the partner statue Christmas like apparel. They have partner statue hats and also scarves. I've never seen these before, but they're, they're very nice. $19.99. And then they got some generic ones over here, but those ones, they're nifty. As I was walking away, it looks like some more of our puppet friends are coming out to join the party. Look at, I like how they're just walking around the park. Just a casual little stroll. <laughs> oh, look at that, adorable. Oh, look at this. to run back to see the reindeer I mean they are just so so cool here is a look at the wait times for today seems like it's a pretty busy day in the park expedition Everest is 55 minutes dinosaurs 45 uh, flight of passage was 120 Navi River was 90 minutes and uh, Kilimanjaro safaris was 60 minutes so it's definitely a little bit busy this is the first week that a lot of international travelers have made it over and I'm so excited that people get to actually come visit Walt Disney World from all around the world again and I got to meet some people from the UK that were like on the first and second flights out and it's I, I, it makes me really happy even though it actually makes it busier in the parks but that's good. The more business, the more cast members come back, the more things actually get moving and getting straightened out in the way that it was and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy for everyone. We're actually going to start in Africa. Normally I always head over towards Asia because I like to ride Expedition Everest and we probably will ride Expedition Everest but Santa Claus is actually out and about in the park and he's floating around in a boat so I want to try to catch him and also see if there are any, is, uh, any holiday treats out. There is no set schedule for Santa Claus, so you either need to be in the right place at the right time or you just need to stand by the water for like a good half an hour to an hour and you'll definitely be able to catch him then. I'm pretty sure it's every hour that he actually comes around. Oh, but take a look over here by the Dawa bar. This is one of my favorite places to actually get a drink and hang out. They got some nice Christmas decorations and we're about to see a little show again. I haven't seen anyone perform in this little market area in such a long time and I'm, I'm actually really happy. I'm kind of rushing up there. Front row we gotta be, we gotta be front row for this.
so awesome to see them outperforming again I don't know if they've been doing it for a while but that's the first time that I've actually got to see it and it's also amazing to see them actually call people up to like come dance that's what makes Disney magical I remember like first coming to Disney and getting called out to do like audience participation things and I talked about it for years I still talk about it sometimes but you know what I mean like it's such an amazing magical experience to be like called out to do something fun something silly something serious and I love it it kind of just gives me like the good Disney feels you know what I mean one of the things that I do remember doing when I first came to Disney was actually being in the Backlot Studio Tour over at MGM Studios. I got to participate in that and I remember it was like the coolest thing ever. Also, I remember doing American Idol there. There was a lot of guest participation at MGM Studios and I loved them all or I loved actually talking to uh, the mayor of Main Street at Magic Kingdom. There's a lot. Like I said, I love it. It makes Disney magical. Oh. I was hoping for Santa Claus, but it looks like it's not him. It is a holiday flight, though. I think I'm gonna make my way over to Asia where uh, the Rivers of Light seating is because that's where you can actually see all of the cavalcades. Oh wait, did I just call it Rivers of Light seating? No more Rivers of Light, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. This is where I was talking about. Well, it used to be Rivers of Light, now it's Kite Tails, and you can actually sit here, and all the cavalcades will actually make their way through. So if you wanted to see all of the different characters uh, on the cavalcades, then just sit here and wait for like an hour, and you'll be able to see every single one come by. Oh, speaking of that, there's Pocahontas. <laughs> How funny is that? That was not planned at all, and Miko too. We're just gonna wait out here for a little bit. Hopefully Santa will make his way around again. We just saw Pocahontas and Miko, and that was really cool because I wasn't expecting to see them. But uh, if Expedition Everest opens up, I might actually just run over there real quick. So there's a good chance we might miss Santa, and then we'd have to wait again, like either the half an hour or the hour. So tough decision, you know what I mean? No wait for Expedition Everest or see Santa Claus. Oh, I heard Expedition Everest running. So we're gonna wait out here for a little bit. Oh, looks like they're opening up right about now. So we're just on time. Look at there's zero uh, zero minute wait. Oh, there we go. It's open now. It's <laughs> open. Well, that happened so fast. <laughs> The funny thing is, I'm running, I'm a single rider. I could just go in the single rider line. <laughs> but if I wait in the standby line, I could do front row. But look at, look at all the people coming in. <laughs> we planned that perfectly. Well, I don't even know if we planned it. I think it was just the timing was perfect. Earlier though, you remember seeing the wait time was 60 minutes. So it's, like I said, a very busy day, and this is a good way to get on the ride. I'm, I'm actually really happy, because I probably would have bought the lightning lane, you know what I mean, to skip the 60 minutes. Up here, you can ask if you want to wait for the front row, and they have a separate little area right there, but since we had no wait, I don't mind waiting a little longer. This is the single rider line, this is the front row line. I just like front row on Expedition Everest. Back row is fun and thrilling, but front row you kind of get like a nice POV as you're going through the forest. And I like it, it starts off nice and relaxing, and then all of a sudden, you enter and encounter the Yeti. And here we are, lucky number one. I always like checking to see the things that get dropped on the track. Looks like there's a chapstick down there. We've got a Dasani bottle over there. A couple of other fancy things. Some trinkets. A dingle hopper. Bye!
<laughs> Here we go. We got a Nike visor down there, water bottle, another chapstick, someone's 50th annual pass I seen. Don't want to lose those bad boys, you only get one. That was great. I'm so happy we were just hanging around this area once it reopened because now I got to show you what it looks like. The line is all the way out here and it says 40 minutes. Oh, 50 minutes, 50 minutes. So it happens very quick and we were only gone for five minutes where we were on the ride for five minutes. Oh, look, there goes Santa Claus. So I think he's gonna make a left and head towards Discovery Island. So then we're gonna be able to catch him when he comes back around through Africa. So we're gonna make our way over that way right now. But I see him in the distance. Say goodbye. We gotta catch Santa Claus. We're gonna power through Asia and uh, end up over in Africa real quick. They move pretty fast, but I think we caught them. Look at this, we've got Donald and Daisy in their holiday best. Oh, they're cute. Okay, we caught them, but I think Santa's coming right behind them. And I think I know a good spot where we can get a really good shot of Santa. So we're gonna kinda come over there real quick. Right here at the upcountry landing, they have this little like uh, walkway down here that gets you really close to the water. So hopefully we'll see them from here. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Merry Christmas to all and happy holidays. Tis the season to deck the halls. Hang the Thank you. And ring those sleigh bells. Celebrating the season with all of you as he sails down the Discovery River. Please welcome Santa Claus. Santa yelled, nice hat. And that was really cool. And I think we'll just stay here and we'll wait for Mickey and Minnie because I think they're going to come down in their festive holiday wear as well. And it seems like we got here just at the right time. We caught Santa Claus and then, like I said, Mickey and Minnie right behind them. I remember waiting like an hour and a half to see Mickey and Minnie in their holiday outfits when they were actually doing meet and greets in Discovery Island. And honestly it got me thinking, a lot of these wait times could be really cut down if the characters came back and more of the shows actually, you know, started again. Because it's kind of like, you know, spreading out the herd of people. The more things they have to do, the uh, lower the wait times are gonna be because they're gonna be in different areas. Like I said, at one point in time there was a steady hour worth of people waiting to see Mickey and Minnie in their holiday outfits. And can you imagine what that would do to the wait times surrounding around the park? Or even uh, Finding Nemo, do you know what I mean? And that goes for all the parks. Once they bring in more shows, more entertainment, more meet and greets, things and wait times are gonna definitely go down lower. As I was waiting and talking about Mickey and Minnie, a friend told me where I can find some holiday treats and they actually have quite a few. They've got a mini holiday apple, they've got a Mickey peppermint marshmallow, a mini holiday marshmallow, then they've got uh, a Mickey Santa Claus Rice Krispie treat, a mini Santa cereal treat, uh, a Mickey gingerbread cookie, Mickey Christmas tree cupcake, a lot of actual ones. So I think we're gonna order some of these. These are actually all located at Zuri Sweet Shop, which at the moment seems to be only place to actually get uh, holiday items. And that's not so much like Animal Kingdom themed. I think these are just universal, like all around the parks holiday items. I don't think they rolled out the Christmas or holiday treats here just yet. But still, while I'm here, I might as well get a couple of them, you know? Right in here at Zuri Sweet Shop. 
Oh, look at these Christmas decorations. Oh, actually, I don't even know what these are Christmas decorations. They look it, but not too sure. They are actually really pretty, though. Oh, yeah, they have a lot, a lot of items. They all look really good. They have three different cupcakes that are different Christmas holiday ones. They have a chocolate, they have a vanilla, and then they have a red velvet one. Then they've got the mini marshmallows and the Mickey ones. They've got holiday candy apples over here. And uh, Santa, Rice Krispie Treat right there. Along with, uh, looks like some Santa Mickey gingerbread cookies too. Lots of good stuff. First things first, I think we're gonna try the Santa Rice Krispie Treat. And also, take a look at that cool Christmas decoration. Isn't that nifty? I really like it. The Santa uh, Claus uh, Christmas Treat is just a whole bunch of Rice Krispies and some red sparkles and probably white chocolate dipped. And you could probably get this at any park. But, like I said, at least we're trying something holiday-ish here at Animal Kingdom. And I don't mind if I do. And of course, we have to go ears first. Wow, that is a good Rice Krispie treat right there. And I thought the ears were marshmallow, but they're actually Rice Krispie treats. So, so good. It's okay that it wasn't marshmallow because we have a whole marshmallow treat right here, a little mini marshmallow. Wow. Isn't that so nice? And also, look at that wreath. Like, I love the festive uh, Christmas decorations. That's really awesome. But now we're gonna have to try this one. I do want to point out this wreath is made of a bunch of different beer bottle caps. You can see we got Tusker Lager right there, some Guinness. We've got a Pilsner Lager. Uh, looks like a Miller Lite there. And even some Coca-Cola ones as well. This is a really, really nifty thing. In fact, I feel like all of these are actually in order. Like these are all like special ones, but this is the only one that has Tusker on it. So you know what I mean? So like this one must have recently got added to it. Now we're gonna jump into this bad boy. Ears first. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this actually. I mean, it's okay, but it's a lot of chocolate. I mean, the coating around the marshmallow is like really, really thick and I wasn't expecting that. I'd much rather get the uh, Santa Rice Krispie treat. Sorry, Minnie. Now that we had some treats, I wanna actually go show you guys the line for Kilimanjaro Safaris. It is queuing up in a way that I've never seen before. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen this before, but this is the first time I've ever seen this. It says Kilimanjaro Safaris is a 75 minute wait, and they actually have the backstage area open. Oh my gosh, I've never seen Look at this. And you're queuing up going down here. And you're going backstage actually. I've never seen this before. This is pretty intense though, don't you think? Back here is the backside of Tusker House. In fact, here are their coolers. Look at that. Watermelons, strawberries, grapes, apples, and steamed corn and butter all inside there. Well, I don't know if those are actually for Tusker House. It does say Tusker House Complex though, so who knows? This is something else. Like I said, I've never seen this before. <laughs> it's one way to actually queue up people and the line stops right here. I guess it's safe to say we're not gonna be riding Kilimanjaro safaris today. That is so, so long. It says 75 minutes, and I've never seen them queuing up back there. So that was kind of a real shock. And just seeing all around there, every once in a while they do things like that, like Magic Kingdom, they'll open up like the floodgates on the side of Main Street so you can exit. Uh, and sometimes they do, they open up the backstage areas so that you know you can extend the queue out or you can exit the park. And it's just really nifty to see it for that. You know what I mean? Now we're gonna start making our ways out again, but I want to say hi to some of our little friends again. I love it. I have to at least see all of them. I still haven't seen... Oh, there's a seal! <gasps> gotta get, I got super excited. We gotta go see the seal. <laughs> oh, but there was a penguin! Oh, look at this. <laughs> What's her name or his name? Snowflake. What is it? Snowflake. Snowflake. I like it. Snowflake, you're adorable. Thank you. <laughs> nice. There he is. Look at this little guy. 
Woo! I love it. Ooh, your little dance. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think uh, that's gonna do it for us today. I mean, we got to try some holiday treats, see most of the holiday offerings, ride Expedition Everest, and look at the bubbles at the end. That was beautiful. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!